Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this video. Appreciate your time and your support. Just finished reading an article over at 9to5 Google, Google Pixel 6 Pro 6 Video Capabilities. That's the title of the article, and I'm gonna read that to you. So I just thought it'd be interesting to share this information on video because rumor is, and I don't want you to feed too much into the rumors, we're getting close to the announcement of these two devices in October, and the release, we'll find out the release date as well. And I know a lot of you are excited as I am, Matt. I am, I am excited. I haven't been this excited in a long time because we're not just going to see an aesthetic design that's different from the last few years of the typical Pixel device. It's gonna be completely different. These devices are supposed to kill it in every possible way, but let me remind you, there's always going to be something there that someone's going to complain about. And maybe some of those complaints may be legit, maybe not. I don't know. All I know is that I'm excited. I'm sure we're going to get something great. Uh, you know, what I'm going to share with you is still considered non-official uh, as far as the article. So with that being said, you can leave your opinions down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the Pixel lineup and what the cameras have been like for you on the front and the rear and if you've had any personal issues or you think that, or you know that certain areas need to be worked on. So let's go over to the article and start right here. Pixel 6 Pro video recording capabilities, ultra wide selfie camera detailed and latest leak. So this is a leak, this is a rumor, but since we're so close, most likely this information is pretty right on or super close. Besides Tensor, the camera upgrade is the most exciting aspect of Google's upcoming flagship phone. The latest Pixel 6 Pro leak suggests the return of an ultra-wide front-facing camera and details the video shooting experience. XDA Today leaked details about some of the Pixel 6 Pro's video capabilities to start 4K recording at 60 frames per second looks to be only available on the main wide camera the 50 megapixel shooter on the rear. The selfie cam, more on that below, ultra wide 12 megapixel shooter and telephoto 48 megapixel shooter are limited to 4K 30 frames per second. At 4K 60 frames or 1080p 60 frames, you get seven times zoom while recording compared to five times zoom today on the Pixel 5. Stepping down to 30 frames at 4K makes up to 20 times zoom possible with those settings, also allowing for seamless switching between all three lenses without stopping. Meanwhile, another advantage of the Pixel 6 Pro over the smaller phone is how the front-facing 12 megapixel shooter Sony IMX 663 sensor looks to be coupled with an ultra-wide angle lens in a return from the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL era. It's great for group selfies or shots that also capture the background. It makes for an appreciable difference. The feature is gleaned from code in today's report, but the exact field of view is unknown. However, an actual Pixel 6 Pro confirms that the two zoom levels are 0.7 times and one time. The regular Pixel 6 looks to unfortunately just have an eight megapixel front facing shooter. Okay, so there's the information. And from what you might know, you let me know what you think of this article when it comes to the video capabilities of the Pixel 6 Pro. And it talks a little bit about the Pixel 6 as well. Hopefully you can share something with me that I don't know as of yet, along with what I just read. But remember, nothing set in stone until the announcement and we get all the details. But I'm sure that a lot of what we're seeing and reading right now pretty darn close to what we're going to be getting and I am excited. I am just am antsy. All right, with that being said, thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy. God bless. Peace. Huge shout out. Hashtag team.